I think that's the best matchup in terms of like going in, who do you pick in that fight? Yeah. To me, that's the best matchup at 175. Although, let's see how Canelo looks against Kovalev. I want to ask you about Tyson Fury in WWE. They're saying that there might be a possibility of delaying the fight with guys, got Wilder in February. Do you think that's smart idea for him to uh, invest? First, watch this. See, oh, you didn't know. He, he, now, I'm going to put this on. Yeah. We do a segment on Max Unboxing called the press conference, because this happens a lot after fights, and I like to put this on TV sometimes, but of course, now that you're all here, our camera guys are here, so we'll do it next time. Oh, wow. Mike, see, see what's going on here. Can you share your thoughts on Pat Day? <laughs> Think about, Kriegel did a piece on Pat Day, and then had to update it after the fight. His, his father's a doctor. His mother was so scared about him boxing, she had to be convinced by his trainer, eventual trainer, to let him box. And then this happens, and the trainer's walking away from him. Like, he can't, at this moment, think about talking another kid into fighting. It's a dangerous sport, and what happens in, after ring tragedies is we all look for reasons why to defend boxing, right? So usually it's along the lines of, it takes kids off the street, it teaches discipline, but there's no defending it. Either, like, what we're really saying is we just love it. You know, it, it's, it, it, it's not like, at the time, talk about how beautiful and compelling it is, it's dangerous, it may not be something you can justify in a civilized society, but we love it, you know, and, and we accept the fact that this happens and we hope it doesn't, but I said it on, on Max Unboxing this week, it aired earlier today. There's been like a string of these this year, right? Yeah, a couple of deaths, yeah. about and four of them. Year, and the year before. Yeah. And every year since I've been watching boxing, and every year since boxing has been in existence, mm -hmm. and it, going forward, it's going to be the same thing. This is the sport that we, that we love, right? People mm -hmm. die in this sport. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what happens. It's always been that way. And, and so what can you say? You just, you, you have to, like, there's no, there's no, I don't see the point in trying to morally reconcile it, right? You just have to accept it, that you love something that's dangerous and 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 at its core kind of exploitative. We've Listen, seen the NFL, I, I want, huh? yeah. seen the NFL, NFL take, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, it's, I, I, I get it. I had a mother who didn't want me to box, yeah. and probably she was smart. You know? Here I am see, talking to you. Well, there was a good Ukrainian, you know, contingent here. But, and box, look, there's more inventory now in boxing. There are more of these level fights, like better fights than there used to be, all over the place. And it wasn't packed, but hopefully, when they. Oh, sorry. Hopefully, if it continues to deliver like this, like Spence and Porter, like like uh, Derevchenko and Triple G, like Ruiz and Joshua, the crowds get bigger and bigger. Are we We've seen the NFL. Oh, we gotta go.